I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a thinking question on inequality. Question here is to solve the inequality ln x square minus 2x minus 2 less than equal to 0. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now whenever you are solving inequalities we need to consider two things and that is uh, first is the domain of the function itself, right? So we need to consider domain of uh, ln x square minus 2x minus 2. The solution is should be within the domain of this function. That is important. And the second part is, of course, the solution lies in the domain, right? In the domain. So let's begin by finding the domain of this function, right? Now, for ln x squared minus 2x minus 2, uh, what is the domain? Let's calculate this domain. Okay, let's find the domain of this function first. To find the domain, we have to solve another inequality, right? So the inside part should be greater than zero. So we'll do that part first. So we have x squared minus 2x minus 2, and that should be greater than zero. Only then, the logarithmic function with the base e, the natural log, is defined. Correct? So greater than zero, we know it is, a, this is a parabola, like going up. Now we need to find where the zeros are, right? We need to find where the zeros are on the x-axis, which we can find using the quadratic formula, correct? So we can find this as x equals to minus b. We are using this formula, x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a, right? So that's the formula which we can use to find uh, the zeros of this particular function. So, so here x is equals to uh, this is for the zeros. Minus of minus 2, that is 2, plus minus minus 2 square, which is 4, minus 4 times a is 1 and c is minus 2. Okay. Divided by 2a, which is 2. Now, if you solve this, you get 2 plus minus square root of. So, that becomes uh, 4 plus 8, right? Divided by 2 or this becomes 2 plus minus square root of 12 divided by 2. This could be solved as 2 plus minus. 12 is 4 times 3, so I could write this as 2 square root 3 over 2, or dividing by 2, we get 1 plus minus square root of 3. Right. So that gives you the domain of this function. So it is on the right side of one root and on the left side of the other root. So we could write this domain as uh, from minus infinity to 1 minus square root 3, right, union from 1 plus square root 3 to positive infinity. So that becomes the domain of the function, right? So first thing is find the domains so that whatever solution we get for this inequality, we have to see the intersection of that solution with the domain. Perfect. And now, let's solve this inequality. Let's solve ln x squared minus 2x minus 2 uh, less than or equal to 0. Okay. Now we could take e, x, ln is uh, inverse of exponential functions, so we could write this as x squared minus 2x minus 2 is less than or equals to e to the power of 0. Now, anything to the power of 0 is 1, therefore we could do this as x squared minus 2x minus 2 is less than or equals to 1. Bringing 1 to the left side, we get x squared minus 2x minus 2 minus 1 is less than or equals to 0, which is x squared minus 2x minus 3 is less than or equals to 0. Now, this could be factored as x minus 3, 3 times 1, 3 is negative, 1 is positive x plus 1 is less than or equal to 0, right? So we get this x minus 3 and x plus 1. We can solve this using uh, uh, the graphing solution, right? So 
So we could do, let me do it on the right side. We'll write down the solution here. Okay, so let me just graph this here, this equation, and then uh, we are almost done. So, so we have two zeros and the parabola opens upwards. One zero is at three, the other one is at minus one. Parabola opens upwards. So it's kind of like this. Okay. So one zero is here, right there at minus one. The other one is at three, right? Is there, is at three. When we say less than or equal to zero, we are talking about this portion, right? We are talking about this portion. And therefore, we know that from here, the solution of the inequality is including minus 1 and 3. So the solution here is the interval from minus 1 to 3. Perfect. So that is the interval in which this inequality is true. However, the function itself is only has a domain which is from uh, this point, which is uh, 1 minus square root 3. Let's take a decimal value of this. What is 1 minus? 1 minus square root 3 is equal to how much? The decimal value is minus, uh, somewhere here we'll write minus 0 0.73, right? And if I do 1 plus square root 3, what do I get in decimals? 2 point. So somewhere here 2 point is less than this. So it is, this is 2.73. Is it okay? Right. So, so the domain of this function, if I write on, on this line, okay, okay, let me draw it here. We'll do it here. Okay. Let's say this is a number line. So what we see here is that the domain of the logarithmic function is not including these, right? Not including these, but to the going away. That is the domain of logarithmic function. And the domain for the inequality is, is kind of this, is all this, is all this including these points. Is it okay? So what is the intersection of these domains? So basically the solution is intersection of these domains. So we have to find the intersection or the common point, intersection of both domains. Is that okay? So the intersection is the part which is just this much. Right? So it is from minus 1. So the so the answer here is, or the solution here is, from minus 1, minus 1 is included, right? Minus 1, to this point, which is 1 minus square root 3. 1 minus square root 3. Is it okay? So this is one part, and union the other part, which is from 1 plus square root 3 to 3. Do you see that? So that becomes the solution of this particular inequality. So that is how you're going to solve it. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope uh, this procedure is clear to you. You can go through this video once again, understand all the concepts. It is a very important question. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. And if you like, you can put some likes also. Thank you and all the best.